Right. Okay, so uh, recording now. Uh, ask the question, why is uh, life so hard? That's a brilliant question. So for me, uh, I really like what Hawkins said, and I agree with that, on life being so hard. Is, uh, this is purgatory. So the um, souls which are inca incarnated in this, in this uh, place, in Earth, uh, we've got a ticket to purgatory, meaning it's a place for optimal releasing of karma. So it's like the soul, when you do muscle calibrating, is each soul that comes in here has a, has a different calibration. So each person has a different level of baggage. And there's, you know, and the, if you like, the spirit wants to come here to undo the baggage. <clears throat> so um, this world is absolutely amazing for undoing bad karma, undoing belief systems, undoing errors. So it's like one is born here and chooses this realm because there's such diversity of goodness to badness, if you like, from good to bad and the ugly, that uh, you, you one, ha one can make endless choices, you know, to forgive or not to forgive, to be honest or not to be honest, to love or not to love. Um, so in a heavenly realm um, where everyone's loving, you wouldn't have the, the choice to be able to choose forgiveness because everyone's nice all the time. Um, also in a, in a hellish realm where everyone's, you know, everyone's at a dark uh, or, or a negative level, also you don't get to, to choose between hanging out, you know, going to, for example, a spiritual group because they're all, you know, there is no such thing as a spiritual group. It's all at that low vibration down there. So you, to, to undo spiritual errors in one's um, belief systems, in one's karma, in one's makeup, it would be optimal to be incarnated into a realm <clears throat> where there is a plethora of choices. You know, in this, in this realm, I can join a local spiritual group or I can join the local satanic group. I can meet nice people, I can meet bad people. So the options for forgiveness and letting go and transcending in this world are optimal. Uh, why is life so hard? Well, partly life is so hard because if I'm, uh, if, if I uh, choose to be free, then I'm going to be upset with all the things within me that I need to transcend, to forgive, to let go, to see differently um, continuously because this realm is one where one is, is, you know, I like Buddha, you know, until, until you reach the level of enlightenment, um, you're going to be beset with problems like uh, old age, suffering and death. And, you know, all of these different types of attachments create suffering. So the only way one can be in this realm and be totally free all the time is to reach that level of enlightenment. Or I agree with St. Francis, it's in the death of the ego. When the ego and all its illusions are finally transcended, that one is born to the eternal. So that place of eternal happiness and love and joy within which is no longer suffers the limited perceptions of the ego. So it's like, even if you get to quite advanced spiritual levels in this realm, um, it's still possible and it still, it still may happen that one will still be tested to transcend what's not yet been resolved. It doesn't have to, um, but if it's not, then there, there is the potential for one coming back lifetime after lifetime until one has the, the inner intention to be totally free. So um, it doesn't ha necessarily have to go that way. You can do uh, what Jesus said, which is um, uh, take Jesus as your savior and get to a place of unconditional love, love your neighbor like yourself. And Jesus will be like a conduit who will guarantee you entry into heaven. And then you could say you could do the rest of the spiritual work from a heavenly realm, not get all the way to enlightenment in this realm, but otherwise, um, each thing that was within the ego, there is the potential that one will be tested on it. It's not really, uh, for me, I see this realm as purgatory. It's not really heaven. It's not really um, at the level where it's going to be easy all the time. But generally speaking, when you do the more spiritual work you do, things which used to plague you no longer plague you, and you'll probably have different or more subtle problems to resolve. But life does tend to be difficult going uh, for periods of time. The reason that is, is because you can't see the karmic stacks 
you can't see the belief systems which are now ready to process. So sometimes you're processing less of your internal baggage and sometimes you clear it and you feel really good, but then you get another load of your um, karmic baggage or your belief systems, uh, which uh, are orchestrated and manifested for you to clear. And so, and so it can seem heavy for a period of time. In terms of, um, but you know, the enlightened teachers, the saints, they all guide the way. Um, uh, like, you know, I, I like St. Francis, it's a mystic, what you're looking for is where you're looking from. So as you let go of the outside being the source of happiness and find that inner, that inner happiness, shall we say, then the levels of freedom tend, tend to increase. But, um, you know, for myself, when life's tough, you know, the only true source is to go to spirit to get that lasting rest. But great question, why is life so hard? <laughs>